Good morning. It is Monday, August 8th. I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford in your local weather expert forecast center, and we're just getting you a quick update on what we're seeing out in the tropics. Right now, there are no named storms across the Atlantic Basin. There is one named storm out in the Pacific, but in the Atlantic, things are still looking really quiet overall. There is a little bit of stirring, though, that's starting to happen, and the main thing that looks like it could potentially develop this week is a wave coming off of the coast of Africa and now getting right over the Atlantic Ocean. So this orange shaded area is the spot where we may see some eventual development this week. It looks like it would probably be mid to late week, so maybe more toward Thursday or Friday than earlier in the week. There's now a 20% chance for development in two days and still not a really high chance for development in five days. It's still about a 40% chance, medium chance for this to turn into a depression or a tropical storm. If it does turn into a tropical storm, its name would be Danielle. But I did want to point out very quickly, there are some obstacles to this. It looks like generally it will be able to form perhaps, but there is still a lot of Saharan dust. Look at this dry, dusty air out here. And another thing to think about for those of us along the Gulf Coast of the U.S. and even kind of toward the East Coast is that this is still really far out. When you look at how far away, it's 5,000 miles from New Orleans. And even if it ends up eventually in this general area, like uh, one of the models, the GFS model, has it eventually ending up north of the Caribbean Sea over here in the Western Atlantic, even then it would be about 1600 miles from New Orleans. So just a thing to kind of remember this time of year when we're talking about these waves, they're really far out. And in this case, we do have a long time to watch what happens. But just to give you a quick update on what might potentially happen, a lot of people like to see a little bit of at least some sort of model going along with what might happen. So this is the GFS model showing some low pressure here. This is the Euro not going as strong with how intense this system is going to get. Eventually, this particular model run of the GFS has it tracking north of the Caribbean and staying out here. And note again, this is a long way out. This is several days out from now. So this is just something to watch and we'll continue. And so this is the area of low pressure that we have. This dotted line that you see, that's the trough of low pressure. And note this is by Thursday. It's right here near our coastline and the general movement will be from east to west. As we move toward the end of the week, it kind of weakens and continues pushing off to the west and also we'll have a surface boundary here. So that's why we've been saying some heavy rain will be around later this week and there might be just a very slightly higher chance for a couple of those heavy downpours that promote street flooding. Um, so that's something we'll have to watch for by Wednesday and Thursday. But really for now, again, in the tropics, there are no named storms. And as we look at our hurricane names, again, the next one on the list is Danielle. The D storm on average forms in the Atlantic Basin on August 15th. It's just an average, but that would actually line up with if we do see that system develop this week, it would line up pretty close to that date uh, for the average at this point in the year. After Danielle, it's Earl, Fiona and Gaston. Not seeing any signs of those forming at this point. And even with the potential Danielle right now, again, about a 40% medium chance of development in the next five days. We'll keep tracking everything. We'll keep you updated. But for now, along the Gulf Coast, uh, not looking at any tropical threats at this point.